down here at local automotive get some AC gas pull it out of the scene because we're going to redo the AC system because it's coming in the summer and it is fucking hot in Brisbane oh it pissing down now classic Brisbane weather Cars back in the shed. Got Bobo here today to give me a hand. Got the apprentice. Look, there he goes. Uh, we're going to now just go the gas out from Sanks from Cam. So we're going to basically strip the AC evaporator core out. We got a new one there and a new condenser. We also have. New, t new TX valve and uh, oh the drum the a the dryer is in the condenser so we're gonna rip all that out most issues come from a stuck TX valve but if you're replacing this may as well keep going and finish it up the AC in this car is like 20 years old so may as well replace it all okay all right, what are we doing today uh, first off, evaporator core. Yep, so we're going to take half the dash apart, I take it? Yeah. Redo, redo some wiring in the process. Yeah, clean all this crap up, tidy it up. Oh, not my Alpine doof doof. We've got an apprentice in here that... The apprentice is not doing his job. Nope, he likes the hazard light switch. Beep beep! Alright. I think he just farted. Uh. Probably shut his pants. <laughs> um, Alright, so whole dash gonna come out. Uh, so, where is the evaporator core in a VT? Yeah, here. Down there, right behind the center console. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. So, if you have a look at the new one, you can see where it goes through the firewall, how long it is. Yep. Alrighty, so that means this part here has come out as well? Like the actual frame? Uh, the crash bar type thing, I don't know. You don't know it's yet? It's been a long time since I've pulled one of these apart. Alright, uh, well, let's just slowly keep pulling stuff apart. Alrighty, so we're now down to taking out the top of the dash. So that's including taking out some 8mm and 10mm bolts over the top, as you can see. One, two, three, four, there's about seven of them total. Um, remember to disconnect your battery before doing this because we got once you take the airbag clip off, you have the risk of either getting an airbag warning light, which will not meet, which will mean your airbags will not deploy in an accident. Oh bro. Get a bit naked here, bruh. I like my new dash, my new dash mat. Mm. See? Lovely. Does that look a bit like supercar spec, bro? Yeah, supercar spec. Yeah, it is if you want an airbag, bro. The wire's still here. Yeah, it turns out... There's no airbag here. So... Sucks to be the pa passenger in my car. Yeah, wiring, though. The wiring's there for it, though. We could go get an airbag and put it in. Yeah. No. no. Might do something to it. Alright. I don't know if you'd have to change the module. I don't know if they're the same module or not. Yeah. Better not look. Better not change it. Don't Unless you know. Like, put it in the comments. But um, if I can just put an airbag in, or do I have to get an airbag and a module to match? Uh, leave your answer in the comments. Alright, mate. So, where are we at the moment? Um, Let's say this. That's got to come out. That's got to come out. It's in there. Alright, so. There's no way out, look. There will be screws hidden. Alright, let's start ripping some more stuff apart. Alrighty, so where are we up to? We are basically ready to start taking the big HVAC box out. Now, um, you might think it'll all be done from inside. No. So, according to 
the service manual, there are... Four bolts, one, two, three, four, um, that have to come out from inside the engine bay, as well as we've got to take the coolant uh, lines off as well. So we're going to drain some little bit of coolant, and pull that out. But engine bay is not as easy as it sounds due to all that crap. So, um, which is good because I do want to do a few mods while it's off. So we're going to pull all that out it allows us to get to the bolts and the coolant lines behind the charger and the pipe work down the bottom there uh, we're gonna drain some coolant and um we gotta get to those bolts at the back having fun bro yeah yeah, mm. yeah. 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 all right is it just now pulling some lines out and undoing the engine and yeah, unbolting from the other side? Yeah, next step, blow her off. Blow her off. Blow her pipe work, yeah. all the fun stuff. Drain some coolant. Yeah. TX valve's got to come off anyway, so... Yeah. Um, and hopefully take those bolts out the front and then hopefully she's right. <laughs> It's been a while. We actually can't remember how we pried the uh, Ed Airplate off last time. <laughs> um, Alright. Oh my god. I got, I got muscle memory of a goldfish. I went for the goldfish. Finally cracked it. That was one tight bitch. Put that one in the middle. Sweet. Now I know where they go. Yeah. RTV Grey. She, se she seals like a bitch. Mm. Maybe next time we take the fuel rails off. Yeah. <laughs> that would have made sense, wouldn't it? Off oh, though. She's out! Woohoo! Alright, what she look like inside the valley? I haven't seen it here for months. Oh yeah? Not too bad at all. Looks pretty good. The 85 for the win. Alrighty. He just leaves in there, bro. <laughs> I see you left some shit around here. Eats roots and leaves. <laughs> um... I don't know why it rusted. The bolts are stainless steel. Well, supposed to be stainless steel. Maybe it's 409 stainless instead of 304. Um, cool. Alright. Alrighty, so where are these bolts, bro? One here. One there. One there. Studs one. There's another one over there. There it is there. These two are going to come up here. Yeah. Yep. The and, and the two heater hoses, they got to come out. TX valve. TX valve. Um, we gotta dump the coolant, or you reckon should be enough, sp enough space to leave it on? Have enough space. If it dumps, at least it's dumping it down the back, not dumping in the motor like when these go here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I think right. we could have found the pros possible cause of uh, the aircon issue from the very first. The um, re the return pipe down the bottom here is. Um, Bent. So there used to be a turbo dump that came from the top over and down. So the previous owner would have bent that up. In doing so, he's probably damaged the TX valve anyway. Um, so we're going to try to bend it back and hopefully not damage the actual return pipe. You got him out, bro? Yep. Ah, uh, yep, she's out. He's tasty. TX valve. Oh, there she is. How heavy you reckon it is? Not heavy at all. Not heavy at all? 
So pulling an aircon unit out to save weight is the most useless thing you, you think you could do? Not much weight in that. Not much weight at all? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Probably like five kilos? Yeah. Five kilos? Just go on a diet, keep your aircon. <laughs> Alright, well, let's open her up. We'll give it a blowout with an air compressor. It's the, uh, it's a fan. Actually, it looks pretty tidy in there, don't you think? Mm. Oh, yummy. One H. Oh, there. Oh. It's like an esky in there, Brad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 20, 30, 20 years. 20 years, guys. 20 years of grot. 22 years. 20 years of bugs and dirt and shit. Mmm. Tasty. Oh. Oh, it's like, it's like coated. Yum. All right, let's pull her out. Yep, she's old. So much tasty and clean. Oh yeah, just a, just a bit of difference. Fit up now. Fit up the TX valve now, dude. Sweet. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bobo. Brand new AC compressor. Old one versus new one. Had to take it a bit of a difference. I had to take the bottom hose out to get it out due to limited space. So if you're ever replacing the compressor, FYI, just make sure you get new little washers. So that's the old one, you can see it's a bit bunged out. So get some new ones, there's a part code there if you ever need them. And they just go over the pipe there to seal it into the compressor. All right, it's all back in there, all tied it up. New compressor sitting all the way down the bottom. Have a nice clean degrease. All right, now all the inside's done. Let's go change over to condenser and dry, and we can go shove some gas in it. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. With the enlarged radiator core and hardly any rim behind it. Had to bash a few things to make it work, but it's out, which is great. Now I can finally finish putting the new one in. There's the old one. Now let's go have a look at the new one. All right, here we go. All nice and new. All right, well the new one's all in. That's my shiny and black. So we're gonna put everything back together. So if anyone does an AC dryer replacement, just remember, your aircon gas goes from the compressor to your comp condenser, and then from your condenser it pops out and goes through 
is a dryer that way, so the inside's always this side. Um, you'll always see an in wording on the top, uh, or about there, and then, yeah, so it goes in that direction. And then back to the evaporator core. Cool. Hey, Brad, where are we off to today? Mate, we're gonna go get me some gas. What type of gas, Brad? Uh, some AC gas. Some AC gas. Yeah. So, more, no more frying in the car anymore, eh? Woohoo! So 21 degrees, it's a 5 degree difference so far. Plus it's got to get rid of all the... So you get your foot on the throttle, and yeah, it's slowly coming down now. So if we were to drive around the highway... You can hear it cycling like this. Yeah. It's coming down slowly. 18. I didn't want air con to get cold. I wanted air con not to melt in the car. Just so when I had the windows up to talk to people on the phone, I'm not like, <laughs> like sweating. But that's, like that's a great temp. I'm happy with that. Like that's a 10 degree difference. You might just say out on the highway, you can have that extra. Yeah. Yeah, it's nowhere near what you like I say, about six, six to eight. Yeah, well, well, the efficiency of that um, the aircon box behind there is a bit not, not as good as new cars anyway. But that's fine. I'm, I'm happy. That's less than 20 degrees, so that's, that's perfect. And remember, that's like hot air being cooled. That's not cold air being recycled cold. So if you were to recycle the air again and again and again, it might even get lower. Yeah, well it will. The doors close, windows up. Yeah. Circulating. Yeah, that's perfect. I like that. when you give the apprentice too much free time.
boot full of parts down at your local servo. Hey Greg, you buy some shit? What sort of shit you got here, Cadley? This bit of gear pull, you reckon? Yeah.